Good day, everyone. So we are now in second quarter and we shall be discussing lessons in week one and week two. And they are lesson 17, which is acceptable and acceptable expressions of attractions. Lesson 18, personal relationship focusing on attraction, love, and commitment. And lesson 19, more of on becoming responsible in personal relationships. Okay, so moving on. Yeah. So for our objectives, at the end of the lesson, learners are ex expected to enumerate acceptable and acceptable expressions of attractions, share one's experiences on how to share or, or, or on how to show affections toward another person or people. And last, identify ways to become responsible in a relationship. Yan. But before we have our discussion, let's have an activity. Yan. I know all of you are very familiar with celebrity bluff. Yan. So, ito yun. So, taken from that ano na, uh, show, tung ating activity. So, all you need to do is to tell us no, if a statement is a fact or bluff. Siyempre, yung ating statement ay patungkol sa mga personal relationships. Okay, so let's begin. Attraction is a force that unites people. Is it a fact or bluff? Okay, so the answer is fact. Next. Affection is one of human beings' greatest emotions. Is it a fact or bluff? And the answer is fact. Next, infatuation is love without engagement or intimacy. Is it a fact or bluff? And the answer is fact. Next, people differ in what they consider attractive. Is it a fact or bluff? And the answer is fact. Okay, another. Relationship is a one-way traffic. Is it a fact or bluff? Okay, the answer is bluff. This time it's a bluff. Okay, another. Personal relationship is a form of relationship closely linked to a person and which can only be important to that person. Is it a fact or bluff? Okay, the answer is fact. Another. Affection is one of the qualities in a relationship that everyone looks for. Is it a fact or bluff? Okay, so the answer is fact. Okay, according to research study, people differ in what they consider attractive and cultural influences on attractiveness. Is it a fact or bluff? Okay, so the answer is fact. Okay, second to the last. Ladies with broad shoulders and a small waist are not attractive to men. Is it fact or bluff? So the answer is bluff. Okay. And last statement. Intimacy is a sharing of details, emotions, and intimate thoughts. Is it a fact or bluff? Okay. So the answer is definitely fact. Okay, so thank you so much for participating in our activity. Okay, so moving on. Ayan. So let's have our ayan, discussion regarding 
personal relationship no for you to be able to really no have a deeper understanding of what we are no uh, engaging so we are always engaging in a personal relationship so kailangan mas maalam tayo kung ano ba tong relationship na pinapasok natin okay so when we say personal relationship no it is a form of relationship no closely linked to a person and which can only be important to that person. Okay. So kapag uh, importante para sa iyo ang isang tao, isang bagay, no, isang relasyon, so meaning ito ay tinatawag na personal relationship. And we do have three kinds of personal relationship. Okay, so let's categorize ano ba yung ating mga pina-prioritize o yung mga importante na relationship na meron tayo. Okay. The first one is privacy and intimacy. Meaning, these are what? Two attributes no, describing personal relationship and level of commitment to another person or persons. Intimacy, private, diba? lovers, yan, couples. Yan. So that's what we call no, private and intimate relationship. Okay, another impersonal relationship. Ano naman ito? It's a commitment no, to an organization like a business entity, a principle, or purpose. So, commitment to no, sa isang organization siya. Kaya nga, that is something impersonal kasi hindi naman tao ang involved. No? It's an organization. So, sabi nga, trabaho lang. Walang perso na lang. But you are committed kahit hindi siya per Sonal. And the last no kind is attraction. So when we say attraction, it is a force that unites people and can grow into an attachment no, which eventually leads to commitment. So ito yung ano, no, kalimitang nararanasan ng mga kabataan natin ngayon. No? Kasi no relationship no, will start really no, from attraction muna ito yung nag uh, hinahangaan natin nagka tayo no there are some uh tao dito um qualities na nagugustuhan natin dun sa isang tao kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng attachment and then eventually nga daw no will lead to a more serious relationship kasi pwedeng pumasok sa commitment na tina tawag. Okay, so remember that. So when we say personal relationship, no, it's more of what uh linked to a person that can only be important, no, to that person and it has three kinds, no? The privacy and intimacy, impersonal relationship and attraction. Okay, so moving on. But my question is, sige nga, sagutin niyo muna ako kasi nga no, nalinya na tayo sa relationship and I know no, uh, majority of my class no kayo, majority sa inyo ay into a relationship na, 'di ba no? But my question is, sige nga, can you enlighten me kasi I really need to really understand no the generation Z. Kamusta naman kayo when we say relationship, di ba? So my question is, what makes no a healthy and acceptable expression of attractions, di ba? So ano ba yung malatawag nating healthy at acceptable katanggap tanggap, no? Na pagpapakita daw ng attraction no sa isang tao. Anyone from the group? Okay, so thank you so much. So to sum up your answer, so we have here, no, ayan, mutual respect. Another is trust, honesty, support, fairness, and there must be separate and identity hindi po pwedeng komo, 'di ba? Nag maging magjowa na kayo, no? Pipilitin mo nang baguhin yung kanyang pagkatao. Kailangan yung gusto niyo yung gagaya na rin sa inyo. So there must be separate identities. And of course, ang pinaka-importante din ay yung there must be good communication. So that's no the summary of the answer that I have asked you, no? When we say, no, uh, healthy and acceptable expression of attractions. Moving on. Ayan. So, 
uh, we have here no another no set naman no ng uh, mga bagay-bagay when it comes to relationship but it, it is something unacceptable so hindi daw siya katanggap tanggap okay so take note so ganitong gawin natin so since alam ko naman you are into this kind of relationship no talagang mga maaalam na kayo kasi nasa later part na kayo ng ano no adolescence no so i want you to pick one no unacceptable no yan act no on my screen ko nakikita nyo and tell us no bakit siya unacceptable okay so let's begin Okay, so thank you so much for your sharing and discussion no, as regard to the unacceptable no, ways in any relationship. So moving on. Yan, so paluwigin pa natin. No? So let's have no, a deeper understanding and discussion so with the different no, important no, concepts of personal relationship. Okay, so let's have... Attraction. So when we say attraction, no, it is the action or power of evoking interest, pleasure, or liking for someone or something, and a quality of feature that evokes interest, liking, or desire. So ito yung talagang sa umpisa ng ano, no, pakikipagrelasyon, yung attraction. So when we say you are attracted no there's something no in that person na kinagiliwan mo o nagugustuhan mo di ba kaya nga it evokes daw interest liking or desire so pasok ton sa attraction yon next yan what about love ayan minsan sinasabi natin we are deeply ano in love yan but mind you do you really know no Uh, the real meaning of love. Ayan. So when we say love, it's a strong affection for another arising out of kinship or personal ties. O oh, yan, di ba? So yun love, pwede natin ipatungkol sa ating family members kasi nga kinship, no? Ayan, or personal ties, di ba? Meron tayong tinatawag ng pagmamahal sa pamilya, sa ating magulang at sa ating mga kapatid. So that's an uh, one definition and love another it is what attraction based on sexual desire affection and tenderness felt by lovers so ito daw yung pagmamahal na nararamdaman natin sa opposite sex di ba no yan and last naman no the definition is affection based on admiration benevolence or common interest. So ito hindi siya masyadong ano no related sa pamilya o sa opposite sex pero ito daw ay yung paghanga kaya admiration no even benevolence no or common interest, di ba? Minsan no kaya type natin yung mga barkada natin, love natin yung mga barkada natin kasi meron tayong common interest na ano tinatawag. Okay. And the last, yung mas malalim na sana, ito yung laging meron tayo, di ba? No? When we say commitment, no, it is refer what, to the feelings and attraction that keep partners working together to maintain the relationship. Ayan, di ba? So, hindi lang po pwedeng, no, we are into a relationship. Dapat merong ano, couple goal na tinatawag, o di ba? So, what is your goal. So, kailangan nyo, you are committed to something. ba? Diba? Ano yung mga commitment nyo sa isa't isa? ba? Diba? Para yun, para ano, to stay together. ba? Diba, no? And to be able to maintain that, ano, relationship, no? To what? To achieve yung lasting relationship na tinatawag. Kaya, no, we are into commitment. ba? Diba, no? Kaya tayo nagko-commit. Okay, so maliwanag po ba si mga important concepts? So we have attraction, love, and commitment. Okay, so moving on. Ayan. So another question naman. How do you exercise no, uh, expressing your affections and develop into a commitment for any kinds of relationship. So ayan. So ang tanong naman, di ba, kung tayo ay attracted or to, to tayo ay in love, 
So how can we daw express no that no affection or love no and be able to develop no mapapunta yung love na yon yung attraction na yon into a commit meant daw na tinatawag kasi ito yung mas matibay di ba ito yung mas nagbabind no sa kapwa tao na in love or attracted sa isa't isa kapag committed sila so how do you exercise or how do you express your affection para nga daw mapunta sa commitment na tinatawag okay so anyone from the group okay so thank you so much for your answer So to so summarize no your answer so you need to stay happy no when you are committed you know in a relationship another be empathic so alam niyo na ibig sabihin ng empathy di ba yung putting yourself in the shoes of others so lagi nating aalalahanin no yung kalagayan ng ating partner okay o yung ating loved one pwedeng magulang pwedeng kaibigan no pwedeng kapatid okay so hindi lang yung lover or yung ating ano no opposite na partner next yan so napag-usapan na to kanina keep an open communication napakaimportante yan no sa isang relasyon ano pa always trust dapat may tiwala kasi without trust i don't think no na uh, mas lalalim ang isang relasyon another Yes, show respect no in any form no in any manner kailangan may respeto, okay? And be a helping hand. 'Di ba pag mahal natin ang at isang tao, lagi tayong nakaagapay para tumulong, okay? Yan. So we have here naman six major elements no of becoming responsible in a relationship o yung iba diyan no na discuss natin. So ganito na lang ang gagawin natin. So among the six major elements na na nakikita niyo sa screen ko no for you to become a responsible no a partner no in a relationship among diyan sa nakikita niyo sa anim na yan alin diyan sa tingin mo ang dapat no na i-work out mo in a relationship. So meaning, ayun uh, yun yung kailangan mong i-improve, di ba? So anyone from the group. Okay, so thank you so much for your sharing no and discussion. So moving on. Ayan. So with that, so bago na ayo pumunta dito sa activity no uh, natin for our uh, learners activity sheets yan so let me ask you what are your takeaways and how are you going no uh, to use that takeaway no for you to improve yourself and your relationship so anyone from the group okay so thank you so much so with that let me discuss the different activities that we need to accomplish no Uh, for week one and week two. So mind you mga anak, so we have three lessons no, that we discussed today. So definitely medyo uh, yung ating mga activities ay patungkol po sa tatlong lessons na diniscuss natin. Okay, so let's start with activity number one. So for activity number one, ito naman yung ano, no, uh, for lesson 17. So These are what table of acceptable and acceptable expressions in a relationship. So what are you going to do? So napakasimple lang. List down five acceptable and five unacceptable expressions no, in a relationship that you have experienced or witnessed. So level tayo ng experience yung nating naranasan o yung ating nakikita sa ating paligid. Probably sa ating pamilya, sa ating kaibigan, no? Yan. So, listahan niyo lang limang acceptable ways, no, of expressing, no, your emotion or your feelings, no? And limang unacceptable din expressions, no, in a relationship. Okay? So, moving on. Ayan. So, medyo mali yung aking slide na una yung ano, <laughs> activity number one. So, we're done with that. So, moving on. Ayan, so for activity number two naman, so we have here naman no lessons no no in what comparison of ways in showing an affection to someone. 
So I want you to compare no ways naman in showing an affection to someone. Ayan. So let's have a little research no. Let's do some uh, researches regarding yung ano showing affection. Like uh, can you research on how teenagers in 90s, ayan, yung mga teenager nung makabataan nung 1990s, paano nila sinoshow o pinapakita yung kanilang affection to someone. So lima lang po na pamamaraan. And What about teenagers in 2021? So meaning ito, kayo yan. Paano nyo naman pinapakita yung inyong affection to someone? Okay, so tiglima lang po. Okay, next. For lesson number three naman, so it's intended for lesson uh, 19. Diba? So bawat lesson meron. Yung kanina, activity number one is for lesson 17. Activity number two is for lesson 18. Then activity number three naman is for lesson 19. So ito naman yung mga essential keys on becoming responsible in a relationship. So I want you to list down at least five essential keys on becoming responsible in a relationship that is applicable to you. So, hindi lang tayo basta magsisearch sa Google ng five essential keys. Gusto ko yung nare-relate nyo sa sarili nyo at sa sarili ninyong ano, mga personal relationship. Kaya nakalagay dyan, applicable sa inyo. Okay? Next. And of course, no, in your last, you need to answer the five item quiz and be able to write your reflection. Okay? So thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you next week. Bye guys.